making a statement, the achievement where we have to complete Slaughterhouse on at least the overkill difficulty without killing any snipers. This one is quite a challenge since we cannot prevent bots or converts from targeting snipers. Well, at least we still have sentries. If you have watched my Matrix with Lasers guide, you'll find that some of the contents are similar. So with that, I did some research on the sniper scripts from Slaughterhouse and here's what I found. Let's first get the easy stuff out of the way. On the overkill difficulty, there will be 3 snipers in the container yard area and another 3 when the escape is activated after the crane objectives. Now the more complicated part. In the mission scripts itself, there is a spawn sniper function that will be first called 5 seconds after we move past the final conveyor belt in the slaughterhouse. We can tell this from Bane talking about the helicopter or the eye in the sky. When this function is called, there will first be a random 30 to 50 second delay before evaluating whether or not to spawn snipers. This evaluation has a base chance of 15% to succeed and when failing that, it will add another 15% and then call the function again, which starts all over from the 30 to 50 second delay. In total, this can happen up to 7 times, depending on RNG. So based on this information, we will see that in the worst case scenario, snipers spawn in 30 seconds if the first evaluation succeeds. Otherwise, the best case scenario would be 5 minutes and 50 seconds on the 7th or last evaluation before the sniper spawn. Huh, so if we are lucky, it's possible to speedrun the objectives without the sniper spawning at all? And no, unfortunately not. First, the two crane objectives itself already requires at least 4 and a half minutes, which based on the sniper scripts requires them to spawn on at least the 6th evaluation with each delay to be at least 45 seconds. The odds of that isn't impossible, at 1.06%, but we certainly aren't gonna try Slaughterhouse 4 or 100 times. Besides, that's not how statistics works. Basically, it's just not a practical approach to rely on RNG. So what about doing it with Muscles Panic just like your Matrix with Lasers video? Nope, tried it, didn't work. The snipers are confined to a small area and there isn't anything to block their view, like a window frame or something similar. So we can't panic them into a position where they cannot shoot. What we're left with is the hard way. Survive. And for us to survive, we want to be in the open as little as possible. So we'll move only the minimum 6 bags of gold, nothing more. Not even the pig. <coughs> for the crane objectives, it's simpler since they cannot be interrupted. Plus, we can hide in the containers while waiting. And for the times where we have to be in the open, here's what we can do. As always, the setup plays a big part. For perk decks, my personal picks are Stoic, that's a very obvious choice, and Sicario. This is one of the rare times where the smoke grenade comes in handy to cover open spaces or for doing objectives under fire. Although muscle can't panic the snipers out of view, it can still be used for regeneration and to suppress enemies, which if we remember, reduces their accuracy by half. Otherwise, go with dodge if that is what you guys prefer, though I won't cover that. For skills, again it's all the survival stuff. First hit kits with upper A's or the usual medic bags, messiah combo and feign death. Swan Song is optional. Stockholm Syndrome A's will give us a 1-up and then hostage taker for some health regen, especially for stoic. Since we aren't going to be using converts or bots, sentries can help to add firepower. Just be sure to place them out of the view of snipers. The last one, as usual, is to play in crime net offline if solo, for faster armor recovery and no winters. Ooh boy, winters and snipers, bad combo. Now that we're done with the setup, let's talk strategy. For this part, I'll mainly focus on going solo since multiplayer would be much simpler. So right at the start, I personally like to grab some murkies for Stockholm Syndrome Ace and Hostage Taker Regen and then ignore them for the rest of the game, since they won't be freed from that location. <laughs> then fast forward to when the safe is open. Now that the safe is open, we want to gather the 6 gold bags at the end of the conveyor belt first, along with one gas can, before moving out to trigger the sniper spawns. 
So at this point, we have at least 35 seconds before the sniper spawns. So let's try to secure those bags first before anything else, since those gold bags are really heavy and can get stolen. If we have sentries, we can place some to prevent those sneaky cops from getting touchy with our gold. Hopefully, we will be able to secure all 6 bags before the snipers spawn, but chances are that they will catch us in the act. So Sicarios can deploy their smoke grenades and use that short window to move bags from cover to cover. Usually, one grenade will be able to cover two bags for a short distance. Stoics of course can just do their own thing, just remember to watch our health. Then, one minor tip here is that if the snipers are covering more of the left side, we can make our way to the container from the right side instead, and then use the left if they cover more of the right. Then the gas cans will be pretty straightforward. We can bait a sniper to miss a shot before moving from cover to cover to do our stuff. And once we are at the crane objectives, things become much simpler. Assuming we did go with Sicario or Stoic, we can pop a smoke grenade to cover us or just tank the sniper shots. We can also place a first aid kit for some insurance. Then the waiting part. Since the crane objective cannot be interrupted by cops, we can just find a nearby container to hide in and then chill until it is done, and then repeat for the second crane objective. Occasionally, there will be a container like this, with two straight stacks inside. Now this one is perfect to hide in, just move all the way inside and chill. Then once we have the escape objective, run like hell. And at any point if we do go down for good, don't panic and remember that we have an extra 1-up from the murky that we dominated right at the start. I won't cover multiplayer since it's basically the same, except that bags are moved way faster and we don't have to go back into the slaughterhouse for the second gas can. And since we can revive each other, we can use whatever build we want. So that covers this achievement, I hope. Alright, so two gameplays will be coming right up, one with Sicario and the other with Stoic. I hope it gives you some inspiration for your achievement run. I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, time to really fuck this up! Left. There. Close down on that truck. Downstairs. Get that gold. All right. The truck is through there. Grab the C4 from the bin and blow that door. Hey guys, get back.
Put the cable Payday side. crew. Use. There's a marked pig in that warehouse. It's very important to me. It's for, um... A present for Mama. <laughs> yes, that's it. Don't let the feds get it. Grab it for me.
Put down the taser. Awareness at all times. Fight through the pain. Hey. Put 
Those are killed! Moving cover! Moving cover! Close the formation! Watch your spacing! Rookie Water's been moving south from D.C. by convoy for months. I've resisted hitting the... The Rookies are headed towards you. Lock and load. Tackle ready. I'm ready. Truck's ready. Yeah, ready. Okay, time to really... Fuck this up!
the right. Drop it. Okay. On your knees. Now cuff yourself. Knee. Cuff song. To the left. Close down on that truck. There. Get that gold. Down the stairs. Okay, remember the plan. Extract the gold, move the gold, set the smoke screen, set the trap, escape. Let's go. Now back. Civilians. Take use of the cable ties. Blood here. Back. What the hell are you doing in that? Never mind. There's a big water to the next. The best knowledge is when forensics come in. Get it out of there for me. Name of this shit, Dozer. Maybe this is going to have the pressure.
Tactical spacing. All elements, close your profile. Watch your spacing. Tactical advance, watch your angles. Watch your spacing. Tactical awareness at all times. Stay with your unit. Tactical awareness at all times. I want to hear you men communicate.